Hello and welcome back to our fresh save playthrough of Risk of Rain 2. Today we are going to be going in as the bandits. The bandit is all about backstabs, getting a guaranteed critical hit, and then focusing on lights out, which is if you kill a target for the 600% revolver shot, you reset all of your cooldowns. You also have a guaranteed crit if you can get a backstab. So the, the build is very much around going behind uh, targets as much as possible to get those uh, guaranteed crits. We'll be playing on Monsoon, and we don't have any artifacts unlocked yet, so we'll just be playing without artifacts. So item-wise, uh, Bandit is very much focused on like wanting to get attack speed and things that can proc as well. I mean, li literally everyone wants proc chain stuff. I'm playing Helldivers all day, so I've been pressing the wrong buttons here. Um, and then you do actually have kind of like this melee attack on your right click that is the hemorrhage. And a stealth thing, which makes you jump slightly. Kind of, It has the same tech. Oh, missed. It has the same tech as Risk Rain Returns, where you can kind of, like, jump into it to get this little double jump. I could see, potentially, a pretty good build, to be honest, around... Potentially, like, one day having just a whole bunch of crowbars for this character and just being able to one-shot everything. Especially with the guaranteed crit that he has. Now, mind you, some of the enemies are pretty hard to crit. Like, the Lemurians, they tend to just kind of walk around in circles a lot. And they turn their backs towards and away from you quite frequently, to be honest. So getting those bat stabs isn't necessarily as easy as it might sound. We are probably going to loot most of this stage. I did learn, someone in the uh, community told me, that the stars that are in the sky that get closer and closer as you progress through the stages are actually a Easter egg for the um, new DLC that's going to be coming out for the game. Apparently got added in at the same time that the Easter egg got announced. Just go ahead and grab this. War banner. Not the best. See, that guy was actually facing towards me, but I still got the thing off of on him because, again, the Lemurian's forward-backward thing is... It's not like the hitbox itself isn't consistent. It's that they, they kind of, like, do a weird walking thing that they do. Teleporter is up here on the right. I mean, left. I actually do know my right for left, but whatever I'm playing and doing commentary for some reason, I suddenly get bad at it. Ooh, that's actually quite good. A Will O Wisp is a hundred percent proc chance in this game. Look at that beautiful crit. Oh, there's a... I think that's my first lunar coin on camera. I did manage to get one during the... uh called the mercenary fiasco that happened the other day. But, unfortunately, it was off-camera. I was not recording at the time. 
Oh, I missed one. Damn. Any other items? Looks like there might be some items down there. That is a cautious slug printer. Well, we unlocked handy, I guess. We can probably just go. We have six items. We do have a reusable green scrap. That's what that green item is there. So that'll be pretty handy. If we get the desert map. Oh, we did not get the desert map. That's unfortunate. I was about to say, if we get the desert map, I can try and show off pot rolling, but I am not good at it. So chances that I did a pot roll is pretty low. We are going to drop some items real quick. Just in case we find a printer. I kind of like the rest of my items, but I definitely need some damage. So if we find a printer that prints damage, that's going to be a very high priority for us. I heard them come in. Where'd they come in? Oh. Conceptually, what the back of a jellyfish is, is very interesting to me. Like, I, I'm not talking about in the game. I'm like, what's the back of a jellyfish IRL? They're literally amorphous blobs that are omnidirectional. They're, they're, they, they're a bundle of senses, right? Like, but the entire concept of a backstab is that you've surprised them. How do you surprise a bundle of senses? If this was D&D... Jellyfish would be immune to bat snaps. I will say I do miss the alternate skills for Bandit because one of them gives you, instead of this little melee thing, it gives you like this little knife throw. Oh, it's so good. That's one of my favorite skills on Bandit. Ooh, attack speed and move speed. Thank you, please. Uh, that's not what I grabbed. I forgot that this is a thing. Sometimes you can, like, reach through a pick three and grab the thing on the other side by accident if you're too close and you're not being careful. That is my inexperience with Risk and Rain 2 showing there. We'll get rid of the shield generator. I don't actually want it. We definitely want the crowbars. And gasoline's fine. It'll be more fine if we get, uh... There's, like, a ignition tank that makes all gasoline better. It makes all fire better. Technically, there are other sources of fire we can get. Oh, hey, there's a thing I can get here, too. I just thought about it. There's a secret. Where is it? It is... Right here. You didn't know? There is a thing called Nukrihana's Altar down here in the depths of the wetlands. Just go down here and kill weird little Nukrihana uh, altar down there. Now we have Nukrihana's uh, Legendary unlocked. Not the best item in the world, but I actually quite like it. Basically, what Nukahana's does is it says that uh, whenever you heal, for every amount that you heal, you do that much damage to nearby enemies. And there's some pretty interesting builds. And if I ever end up doing like one item per rarity builds, like I was doing for Vistar Ring Returns, that's Nukahana's is definitely going to make it into one of those because Nukahana's has some pretty interesting ideas, especially if you ended up with a whole bunch of them. That's kind of like the point of one item per rarities, right? Although I will say that this game has a little bit more of diversity in builds with, between the characters. So the one item per rarity runs are, I would argue, not as necessary. 
what's over here? Uh, we don't really need the crit because we have 100% crit from behind. I'll take the drone. We'll activate the teleporter and then... Um, might scrap some. Just to let you know, there is actually a backside to these guys, despite what I was saying. Uh, not sure what I want to scrap, so we're going to hold off. You kind of just have to keep firing at them until you find the side that's the back. Ooh, look at that. Speaking of ignition tank. Oh, well, my fire is way freaking better now. That plus the crowbar means that, uh, I would argue we have a build. At least the beginning's a one. What is that? Broken healing drone? It's okay, I guess. The healing the drones in this game are not as strong as Ocean Rain Returns, so don't don't be expecting something incredible coming from your drones. We're gonna check down this hallway real quick. I feel like that's the mistake I made with Mercenary. So I get overconfident when I'm doing Mercenary. And I end up uh, not taking all of the items on a stage, or not taking the majority, that is. And ends up killing me. See, Foreign Fruit was a very good reason to come down this hallway. This game does not get hard enough fast enough to, for you to not take the majority of advantage of a stage. Plus, scrappers exist, so even if you get bad items, you can just turn them into good items later. There might have been something down there, but I think we're good. I know I just said that, but, like, I actually do legitimately think we're good. Ooh. We're going to print at least two of these. What is that? That's Monster Tooth. I don't really care. You know what? I'm going to print three because I'm worried about boss damage. I don't know how we're missing that guy. Let's see. Grab the question mark. I'm fine with that. I kind of just want all these items, to be honest. Cautious slog is not what the doctor ordered. But I'm not really going to complain about it either, to be honest. Lead. There we go. Now this. This is good. Let's check for a scrapper before we do it, though. Because we care about some of our, our white items.
Getting a little bit of uh, movement speed is honestly a huge deal. Ooh, more crowbars. It's honestly a huge deal. If I would... In Risk of Rain Returns, the big thing was jumps. Like, jumping is a huge deal in that game. In this game, it's all about the movement speed, in my opinion. Jumps are still really good. Don't get me wrong. Like, having one hobo feather could literally be the difference between life or death. But movement speed is king. So with enough movement speed, you can just dodge everything in the game. And that lack of movement speed is actually what got us killed. Mercenary. Also a lot of damage, but the lack of movement speed was more important. I probably could have survived a lot longer with a little bit more movement speed. Uh, Raw Zerpus? Nah. Just not that important of an item. Let's head to the teleporter. More Will O Wisp. I'm fine with that. Instantly murdered. Eh, harpoon. Okay. That's... That's definitely an item. We definitely got an item from that. Ooh. Can I see that sick shot? Sniped that man. A bubble. Okay. Again. It's an item. It looks like there's a pick three over there. There is. We'll definitely want to grab that before we leave. Do enough damage, you can stun any, almost anything. There's the teleporter. Um, egg. Let's drop the random credit card. So the credit card lets you buy everything in a pick three. So we're actually going to take it just because it's interesting. It's more interesting than the healing. And we have three cautious slugs, so we actually have a pretty decent amount of healing already. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. I'm not going to be spending that many Lunar Coins anyways. A lot of the Lunar items in this game are really, really powerful. And uh, these first few runs, I'm actually enjoying the difficulty of the game, so we're not going to be grabbing too many Lunar items. Something just appeared. Man, he got that thing, like, right on me. Yep. 
boss being down gets us a lot of money. Ooh, some fact speed. Hell yeah. What's that? Uh, roll pennies. I am feeling the damage. Lack of damage, that is. Run of Combat, if you don't know, is similar to a Shrine of the Mountain, but instead of making the boss harder, it just immediately summons an elite pack of enemies. I think we're going to have to teleport her right away, and then we'll buy everything afterwards. Oh, he teleported. Damn. We did a red whip so we can get around the stage way faster. Is that the lock box? No, that's my healing drone. You guys are seeing my fabled lack of accuracy when it comes to first-person shooters in effect here. Why I play melee classes. Okay, let's do a real quick check. Definitely drop this. Probably some other stuff. Rusted key. That's okay. Check up top. That was fun. What is this? Topaz brooch. Sure, we'll take one. Oh, we didn't have any uh, strapped left. Crap. Well, we lost our fire. That's actually a really big hit. That was a problem. Ugh. We don't have enough for the chest in the middle, I don't think. 
actually checked though, because I don't remember these prices. I feel like it was six thousand, but it might be three thousand. Can't believe we uh It is three thousand. Okay, I can't believe we lost our freaking eh, resonance is not the worst red item. Not the best one. Can't believe we lost our freaking gasoline though. That hurts. That hurts really bad. Do a very, very quick check up here, and then we're going to move on. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Is that opened? That is open. Someone mentioned a chest cleanup mod. That might be on the list. Because that's not something I ever actually had to deal with, is... Or sorry, I never had the option before, is just getting rid of the chests. Sounds so freaking nice, because seriously, the fact that they stick around and you can see them from far, like, I'm pretty good at recognizing the chests, but I'm not good at recognizing whether they're open or not. Um, there's some shurikens there. Oh, last one was over there. I'll probably take the shurikens. Oh yeah, that's right, we have a thing. We can grab all of them. being that far away is actually a problem for us. Let's just back up and heal for a second. This is going to be a problem. Never mind. Clutched it out. Okay. I mean, we could activate this, but I don't think it's really the time. There's just a big teleporty thingy down here. Don't worry about it too much. Just It's just a Stargate, you know. As you do, keep Stargates in your basement. Jerk. Where is he that he's firing at me like that? Wow. I literally can't get out. There's another way to go, though. You know what? I think I'm just not going to deal with that guy and I'm just going to walk away. Where's our teleporter? I don't see it yet. Roll pennies again. Man, this game really. Between last game and this one, this game really wants me to have roll pennies. 
There's my fire back. It's useful. Sort of. Kidding me, game, right? Oh, I never got movement speed from that uh, go hoof printer. That's actually pretty unfortunate. I was wondering why I was so slow because I was like, we saw a go hoof printer. Well, teleporter is to our back right, but I want to see if I can get just a few more items super quick. So I'm not feeling all that strong. Collapses? No. This is what I was talking about before about the fact that uh, these guys can be a pretty significant problem for other characters. seed is like so far away you know what screw it at this point i'm just wasting time yeah it looks like he wandered off across the map or something what is that hobo feather hell yeah we're gonna print two hobo feathers Switch up our items here. Literally just saved my life from the collapse.
The thing just dragged me off the freaking map. It's okay, I dragged some people off the map with me. Three, two, one, okay. Oh my god, I keep getting caught in this damn thing. literally spawned that one on me. Ideally, we at least get to the point where the teleporter is not spawning any more enemies. Nope. I got shot by... An alpha construct. Yep. Rich Rain 2 gets really hard, guys. And uh, to be honest, that that was a lot of bad luck, but also a lot of bad plays on my part. Well, anyways, this has been Rich Rain 2. I have been Arima. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series anyways. I am kind of relearning the game and obviously not as good as I used to be. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it anyways. And if you are, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.